Here's a quick tutorial on how to use unnecessary censorship. Here's our studio. Now first thing we need a video so choose video source and if your device has a camera you can record video before you start though it's best to work with footage that's already on your device so if you don't like your work you can you know start over from scratch. Now in the studio I press play and I hold down the sensor button as long as I want a bleep. So how'd, uh, how'd she like it? She loved it. She played it all night long. Go back a little bit. She loved it. She played it all night long. Now I can change the length of this bleep by tapping in the beginning of the indicator and dragging. Or I can move the entire bleep by tapping and dragging in the middle. That was pretty good. Now we can also position this bleep anywhere around the screen and we can double tap on the sensor indicator to change the size. And there are several different styles. Pixelation, blur, and different audio options like mute. When you're done, click save. Now you have a QuickTime file in your library and you can tap on it to view it full screen. So how'd, uh, how'd she like it? Or you can go to the share button and send an email, Facebook, YouTube. Now if you send an email, it's, it's the full res HD version. So what you, if you're going to email it, you want to copy it to your iPhoto first. and you can email it, trim and email it from there. That's, uh, that's unnecessary censorship.